hello. I understand that what a viewer asks for nowadays in a film is that it improves, instructs, and elevates. Well, this film wouldn't elevate a cow. I cannot conscientiously recommend it for any useful purposes whatsoever. What I can suggest is that when you get tired of superheroes, space battles, and high production values, you might give us a try. Get a nice change. But I am in danger of skipping ahead. You want to know about her. You want to know how it all got so complicated. Being idle. Now this is something I consider myself to be an expert on. My favorite teacher used to say that she never knew a girl who could do less work in more time. I even remember my grandma saying that it was highly improbable that I would ever do anything I shouldn't do. But she also said that I would probably never get around to doing anything that I should do. In fact, I have done a great many things I should not have done, but I have fully confirmed her judgment so far as neglecting the things that I should have done. I take no credit for it. It's a gift. I'll explain more about that later. Gabby and Mike, and after that, Simon and Lucy. Are you listening to me, Dennis? Good. I have a whole list of things for you to do. And now, we will continue with our course on unlocking your hidden potential. I can succeed. I work hard, I will succeed. Success is mine for the taking! Have you ever considered getting an alarm clock? No. I hate alarm clocks. They always go off at the wrong time, alarm the wrong people. Mm. Well, it'd be nice if you'd turn up on time occasionally. I know. But my bed's just too good. Every time I'm meant to get up early, I just find myself desperate for just a few more moments of sleep. I've noticed. No one's saying it ever gets up willingly. 
fast. I once even knew a girl who would actually get out and have a cold shower. <laughs> and even then that was of no use because afterwards she would jump back into bed again to warm herself. Have you considered using a taser? <laughs> So, how are things? Same as always. Find anyone permanent? No. But I have found a few temporaries. Good grief. You know, this city isn't that big. Sooner or later, you're going to run out of fresh meat. I'll do my best. Besides, what if I, you know, meet the woman of my dreams? But I'm already married or something. I'm ready and raring to go. So two years experience. Yes, but I'm a quick learner. We were looking for three to five years. Yes, three to five years. So you're not thinking about settling down at all? No, I don't need to. I'm happy. I don't need a relationship. I just... See, the biggest problem I have at the moment is that I need to write something, but I have no ideas. But you're still good to come babysitting tonight. I don't know. Still got some of that cheesecake left? Yes. Well, of course. You better be. Mike only takes me out once in a blue moon. Yeah, well, see, that's what you get when you trade in your independence for stability. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi Pops, it's Angela. Look babe, we need to talk. You can't give me all this hopes and dreams talk about your writing and never do anything. Alright? Call me. Very soon. You know anyone else that wants to represent Poppy Oaks? <sighs> I didn't think so. Hello? Hi, it's me. Oh, hi. I was wondering if I left my blue shirt at your place when I moved out. You know, my favorite one. Mm, no, I don't think it's here. Oh. But the red one with the stripes is. Oh, um, I'll just keep it. I guess I'll leave you with that shirt and my old letters, huh?
I sat down with the full intention of writing something original and clever, but can't think of anything that's either. I'm distracted because I'm broke. Before, when I was broke, I would recklessly spend a few dollars merely for the sake of having the change to jingle. You don't feel nearly so broke with metal in your pocket. I've been an actor, and now I'm a writer, so I can speak with some authority on the subject of being broke. I've lived on nothing a week. I have lived on half that. You want to find out the value of money? Try living on nothing a week. And see how much you can put by for clothes or a night out. Everyone should try it just once. There are some people to whom it would do a world of good. dangerous to become used to being hard up. We must always strive for more. Besides, we're all hard up for something. There's community in that. Four words. It's not a lot. But it's a start. Gabby finally had an idea. Is it a good idea? Well, I didn't say that, but I just said that I had an idea. Hey, sexy. Okay, relax. This is the gayberhood. Besides, the straight ones like girl on girl more than we do. Oh my god, you're terrible. <laughs> um, but I do want to ask you something. Shoot. Okay, so you helped me. 
spark out some real frustration yesterday. I noticed. And thank you, by the way. It was uh, pretty great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that isn't really me. So I have to ask, are you in it for the long term or just the fun? Why? Because I like you and I just don't want to waste my time with something meaningless. Person can go to like meaningless. Please be serious. I am, for better or worse, a serious person. I take my life, my career, my relationship. Seriously. Yes. Yes. Elaine, we've only seen each other once. It takes a lot more than that to know if you want to fully commit. Yeah, I, I guess so. But, um, do you want to meet my friends? Sure, yeah, no problem, you know, eventually. Great, because they asked me to hang out this weekend. Look at how adorable they are together. Yes. Disgustingly so. You know, I think they found a whole new way of loving each other. <laughs> if we all claim to do it as it has never been done before, I just don't know how people are gonna do it in the future. So Poppy, we figured we'd cook you one of our specials for dinner. Which is? Roast chicken. Polenta. Mushrooms. And red Italian peppers. <laughs> but first, darling, come, let's show them our new place. Yes. <laughs> so Elaine, how did you meet Poppy? Um, well... You've been in love, of course. If you haven't, you've got it to come. Love's like the measles. Everybody has to get it once. But, you needn't be afraid of catching it a second time. In fact, the woman who has had it can go into the most dangerous places with perfect safety. She can keep her head through the whirl of a close dance, catching nothing more lasting than a cold. She can look into sunny eyes and not be dazzled. No, we never sicken with love twice. Garlic, please. Of course, my love. Pepper, please. Certainly, darling. So, I think everything will survive in there while we have a drink. <laughs> You're welcome. You. So, Poppy, what are your intentions with our lovely Elaine? My intentions? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think um, lots of wild kinky sex. <laughs> and then, you know, just Chuck her out into the street when I get bored. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks. So, you're not looking for love? Mm, I don't know, maybe. I'm... It's all very complicated, isn't it? You know, being in love. I know. We used to fight all the time, but it's, it's better now. Our love really sustains us now. Well, what else is there? <laughs> and if you don't have someone special in your life, you might end up like Loretta, nagging everyone to death. Oh no, I doubt Loretta will catch Poppy in her web. You can bet on it. <laughs> Ooh, water spoiled. Mm. Time for stage two. Mm -hmm. They have such a great relationship. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I mean, it's all based on honesty, but their past 
about the future that they want, about their goals, everything. So there's Elaine, covered head to foot in bright green vomit, and that's when my mother shows up. <laughs> okay. I think it's that time again, and I need to get up early in the morning for work. Hey, mm. Poppy, what do you do for work? Oh, um, <clears throat> I work from home. Mm. I'm still usually late. <laughs> Better get going then, especially if you have all that kinky sex to have first. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Wait, you're switching the juice? Should we tell them the news? Go on then. We're going to have a baby. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so wonderful! Oh my god! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Thank you! In reality, even those who seize love's opportunity will have to deal with its waning. We take all things in a minor key as we grow older. Ambition takes a lower aim. Honor becomes more reasonable. And love, love dies. A young couple cannot call to mind any middle-aged people that exhibit such frantic attachment, but that does not interfere with their belief in themselves. No. No one has ever loved as they love. And so, of course, the rest of the world can be of no guide in their case. We do not hate, nor grieve, nor joy, nor despair in our maturity like we did in our youth. Now into the lion's den. Coffee? Okay, but it has to be done. All right, lovely. Goodbye. Hi, Poppy. Come on, let's go sit at my desk. Now, Poppy, we need to talk about productivity. Productivity? Yes. Whose? Yours. Definitely yours. I see. Listen, Poppy, I like you, okay? And I really like your writing, but you haven't been a big money maker for me. You see where I'm going with this? <clears throat> Maybe. I can't sell your work if there isn't any. Makes sense. Basically, if you don't have something finished in three months, I cannot represent you anymore. Oh. Now, I don't want to leave you, so I'm gonna get you some help. Oh, good. Patsy here. She's gonna oversee your work. Her? Listen, I do not have time to babysit you, but Patsy here, she can do it. Oh, great. So, I prepared a writing schedule for you. Really? I love writing schedules. Good, because you owe me a synopsis by next Friday and a thousand words by the end of next week. This Friday? This Friday. I'm sure it'll be wonderful.
Hi, hon. I was just thinking about you, and I... And we... We're heading towards something permanent, aren't we? I just... I just like to know. Anyway, speak soon. Bye. Oh, and I have a job interview tomorrow, so if you'd like to call and wish me luck, that would be nice. Okay, bye. So, let me get this straight. You want to write a guide to faking a long-term relationship? Yes. <laughs> that has got to be about the most evil and twisted thing I have ever heard of. I know, right? It's going to make us a fortune. <laughs> it's one of the chief curiosities of summer. The way everyone comes out wearing bright colors. Although it is nice to be able to see some people a long way off. I was hoping to run into you. Oh, oh really? Oh, yes, I'm still looking for volunteers for my neighborhood committee. Oh, I'm sure that you are. But don't you understand what this means to people? I'm sure that I understand what the word volunteer means. Oh, oh, pardon me, I have to speak to Dennis. <laughs> Hello, Dennis. Good public works. Hardly the domain of the idle person. to go change. Dan, you're looking for an event planner? Yes! Uh, I have a major show coming up. <clears throat> well, that's just my thing. What's it called? Delusion! <laughs> oh my god, I am so sorry. Don't worry about it too much. This isn't the first time it's happened. Hello? It's Patsy. Oh, 
Hi. Angela suggested you need some professional help. Oh, really? But apparently she's thinking something different than me. She wants you to see our relationship counselor. You know, to find out how a proper relationship works. Have you ever wondered how much trouble you'd really get into if you punched a ten-year-old? Poppy. Angela recommended you to me. Oh. Hi, Hugo. Poppy. Um. <sighs> what was it that uh, Angela wanted me to help you with? I want to know how to fake a long-term relationship. Right. Poppy, I'm a relationship counselor. I don't normally recommend fake relationships. In fact, I usually recommend you don't ever allow yourself to get involved in that situation in the first place. Yeah, sure, of course. But what if someone really needed to, like for their career or something? Well, it's still a bad idea. A better idea is to embrace a real relationship. Even if you don't like the person, or uh, they're particularly awkward, or especially if it is someone who can have significant influence on your future. Okay. <laughs> but what- Ah, ah, ah! Real good, fake bad, capish? Okay. Can you just tell me how relationships are formed? So, you want me to create your launch event? Yes. I can do that. Great, you're hired. But She's hired. I'm tired of rewrapping that damn box and we're running out of time. You won't regret it. I will put together the greatest guest list you have ever seen. Okay, so, um, what is this event about? What is the delusion? <sighs> okay, now listen up. Relationships tend to go through three main stages. Forming, storming, performing. In the first stage, you find somebody attractive in some, possibly many ways. Now, at this point, it is important to be nice to that someone so that they want to be around you too. All right, got it. Nice is good. Nice is good. Second stage, storming. This is where your inevitable differences show up and you are arguing like cats and dogs, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you're all like, uh, wah, 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 da, da, and you are fighting a deep-seated need to strangle them, cut them into little pieces, and bury them in the garden. Right. Right, right? And the reason that these arguments cut so deeply, <laughs> no pun intended, is because they challenge your personality, your self-image, your future plans. I mean, you thought that this person was attractive. Now you find out that you are fundamentally different, which is terrible, it's a disaster. But it's normal. Okay, sure, yeah, so. Normal to hate the person that you love. Got it. Absolutely. And the intensity of the arguments sort of correlates with the deepness of the relationship. So deeply felt relationships will have angrier, more intense arguments. I see. Stage three. Perform. Okay, now this is where hopefully you have worked through your differences and reconciled them. Or, if not at least... Um, brought together the differences, yeah, differences in thinking to a manageable level. This is the dreaded compromise stage that every marriage is based on. Right. Mm. And what's the importance of the performing long term? Well, happiness, hopefully. Mm. But it's not excitement. Not so much as in the beginning. 
may not be scintillating, but there is love, respect. I mean, it is warm memories of past challenges and shared experiences. Sounds a little dull, don't you think? Dull, but happy. Only if it lasts. And, well, it never lasts. And, how was your job interview? Different. He's an artist. Concept artist. Mm, what does that mean? God only knows. All right, well, when do you find out? Oh no, I got the job. I'm just wondering what the hell I let myself in for. How's your day? Lots of background research. I've come up with my tactical plan. Fight one, fight two, fight three. Oh, that's not gonna work. They're all Fridays. That makeup sex is good for Saturdays. Now what to fight about? Mm, politics, money, faith, self-help books. It's not much of a list. I'm gonna have to come up with something better. Lovers have more power for good or evil than they dream of. Unconsciously, you mold yourself to what she would have you be good or bad. After all, what noble deeds were we not ripe for in the days when we loved? It was no mere human creature like ourselves that we adored. It was a queen that we paid homage to, a goddess that we worshiped. Oh, those foolish days when we're unselfish and pure-minded. And oh, these wise and clever days when we know that money is the only prize worth striving for. When we chase only passing thrills. These days take us over. working out rather well, but I think it might be time for an argument. Did you use up the last of my whipped cream? Yes, which is why I got you some more. Oh. Besides, I'm surprised you could even tell, given the mess. That she's gonna walk out on its own accord. Get a job, start a family, maybe even start a retirement plan. Oh, and are you planning on washing or ironing any of these clothes? Or are you happy walking around town looking like a brightly colored scrotum? Scrotum? Yes, something wrinkly and unpleasant anyway. Oh, oh, and you're perfect, are you? Oh, I keep nice and tidy, yes. I try not to look like I'm homeless. Do your worst. dare. Oh, stop me. Don't you dare. Oh, oh, it is 
on now, slut. Hey, Poppy, honey, I want you to know we were really on a roll here. I mean, your new girlfriend is really bringing something out of you. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe when we're ready to launch, we can have her do an event. <gasps> If I'd get up for it regularly, though. You were pretty awake this morning. Mm, yes, I know. <laughs> it was most odd. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, to go back to bed, I think. No. I mean, what do you want out of life? Mm. I want to be happy. Mm -hmm. I want my friends to be happy. If I had one, I don't want my family to be happy. I haven't got much farther than that. You forgot about Zeus. <laughs> Give him a bottle chase and a leg to hump, and he's good. <laughs> So, um, do you, do you think we should, um, move in together? Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Good. I'll start searching. <laughs> What have you gotten me into? Excuse me, but what have I done? What have you done? What have you done? Oh, oh, I will tell you what you've done. It is working so well, she wants to move in together. That's what you've done. I'm comfortable in my home. All my old trinkets to meet me whenever I glance up. And my little knickknacks sped around me. Photos of the girls I've loved upon the mantelpiece. A couple of disreputable pipes scattered about. Familiar pictures to hide the stains on the walls. My books higgledy piggledy all over the place. Stains themselves or the memories. Ready to go apartment hunting? Sure. What do you think? Mm. Mm. New furniture has no charm compared with old stuff. <sighs> Come on. It's the old things that we love. Old faces, old books, old jokes. <sighs> so, uh, here it is. Okay, let's have a look around.
and not merely old in itself. Apartment furniture generally is that. It must be old to us, old in recollections and association. We weren't expecting it to be furnished. Oh, don't worry. It won't be after I evict this jackass. So, the rent. 1600 like it says in the ad. No negotiations. Not even a little? I used to get 1750 for this place. Oh. And 1900 before that. Well, it's a good thing we didn't come apartment hunting five years ago. It would have cost us a fortune. Just say I don't want to do what I don't want to do. Just because you think I should do it don't mean I think I should do it too. Now down the road I might regret it, but I probably just forget it. Cause I'd do it if I thought it was meant to. And I don't want to do what I don't want to do. I'm Loretta. I'm from the Neighborhood Committee. I'm Elaine. I'm Poppin's partner. <laughs> partner? Oh, yes, of course. She's, she's my girl. Of course. Oh, that's lovely. I was wondering which one of the community projects you would want to be involved with. Oh, not, I don't think we're going to have time for that. Oh, actually, I think we might. Poppy, we can make some time shortly. Loretta, why don't you just come in and tell us all about it? <laughs> Sure. If you don't mind the mess. You know what, Loretta? I think Poppy and I might be able to help you out with almost all of these. Oh, all of them? Fantastic. Here, write down your email and I'll start sending you stuff. Actually, I'm in the process of changing my email at the moment, so... Well, in that case, Laura, you just send it all to me and I'll make sure Poppy gets it. Thank you so much. Well, I must be... I must be off. I'll bring you down. You going out again? Yes, unfortunately we spent the entire day trying to find us a new apartment. But there was apparently something wrong with all of them. All that time, all that effort, all that research, and nothing was right. So I'm going to go out and do some food shopping. Bye, darling. I may have underestimated my opponent. Well, two can play at that game. Dear reader, if you were ever hit by a pang of regret or even guilt for faking your relationship, it always helps to keep a list of all the things that your partner does that annoys you. One, she criticizes your female friends. Two, every day requires a 45 minute analysis of who's annoyed her at work. Three, you don't need to wear my clothes obsessively like you're trying to permanently mark me with your smell. I am not a signpost for you to pee on. 22. Every morning, your breath smells like a raccoon's butthole. And finally, 23. I am not your emotional crutch that exists just to confirm everything you want to do. If you want to do it, just Fucking do it! <sighs> Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course we're good. It's just, it's just what? I just would like to do more things that I want to do sometimes. 
But I'm not stopping you, am I? No, not really. Not really? Well, what is it that you want to do? I don't know, like, um... I don't know, like, camping. Camping? Mm -hmm. Like, in a tent with bugs everywhere and bears and mud and stuff? Okay, well, when you put it like that... I'm just so busy with Ramones. Hey, excuse me? It is the Great Ramones. The Great Ramones show. Anyway, I thought you were only doing half the show. I'm not doing half the show. I'm doing the full show. You just hasn't entirely told me what the main part of the show is. Well, that sounds like half a show to me. I invited all my contacts, the press, my most glamorous professional clients. It had better be a good bloody show. And former mayor is coming. Okay, well, maybe you just need a break. Um, well, we could. Don't forget it. If you don't like camping, you don't like camping. What kind of idiot likes camping anyways? Sorry, I'm late. I... Come on, let's go. Get, get off. What is this place anyways? This pops is a publishing house. Oh. Welcome to Russell and Flo Publishing. Although really it's just Russell now. We divorced the cheating slut. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Nice to meet you at last, Bobby. I'm delighted to be here. I want you to know that if you commit to us, we will commit to you. Glad to hear it. See, that's the way it has to be, Poppy. Because every time we take on a new writer, we essentially bet the company on them. Oh. So, I've been thinking about your suggestion. Oh, really? Which one? The camping trip. Oh, that. Yeah, and I think we should do it. Um, like this summer? Of course. What, are we gonna have time? Well, Ramon's event is going great, and it's still like a couple of weeks away, and I mean, you're not really doing anything. Uh, huh, you, um, uh, you, you're flexible, right? No. No, I'm not that flexible. No, I have a writing schedule and everything. And you better stick with it. Oh, hi, Patsy. Uh -huh. Speak of the devil. This is actually perfect timing. Do you think you can maybe go pop you a couple of days off her schedule? Sorry, no. It's very important that the work gets done. See, I told you. I can't get away. We'll go camping another time. Camping? You like camping? I love camping. You know what, maybe I've been too harsh. I'm sure that's not true. You're just being professional. I mean, I don't want to stop you guys from going camping, especially right now with all the blazing hot sun we've been having. So I'll tell you what, I'll shift your writing schedule by a week. Are you sure you can do that? You know, I mean, without speaking to Angela first? Sure. In fact, I think this is the best idea ever. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Poppy, come on. Let's go get a tent. <sighs> okay, we have everything, right? And more. I mean, it's not like we're going into the middle of nowhere. If we need anything, we'll just buy it. Sure. Okay. Let's go. <laughs>
I think we're here. We're gonna be walking mostly from now on, right? Go sign us in. Did you find a map? I have one map and a two for one token for zip lining from the camp counselor. Took you a while. We're chatting. Yes. I felt like finding an especially novel, out of the way subject to talk to him about. A subject that no one had ever talked about before. A subject, the discussion of which will come down upon the world and stun them. A topic that will attract by its novelty and invigorate by its surprising freshness. Which was? We talked about the weather. Well, I'm glad you found something so useful to do by the way you're cooking tonight. Yep, yeah, that might not be such a good idea. Apparently, it's gonna rain. Hmm. Are these seats taken? Uh, no, you'll be all right. You should join us. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you two lovely ladies doing this evening? Mm -mm. Sorry, boys. You're out of luck. We drive on the opposite side of the road. Yeah, we know. We saw you drive in. <laughs> <laughs> Why would no, you just, oh, yeah, excuse me, what kind of wines do you have? Oh, uh, the usual red and white. Actually, red and white. Oh. Um, uh, no, don't worry about it. Actually, we're going to be on the beers tonight. All right. Beers. <laughs> All around. Beers. On you, not us. Our tent is really small. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah. This is Calgary, so we started no, on some map. We're sleeping in that tent together. Mm -hmm. Just not gonna let him in the tent. Uh, he has a genetic predisposition to diarrhea. Mm. That's a good idea. Mm. Good night. Bye. Ooh. Kiss. Oh. 
Oh, hang on. Oh, God, I'm not... I'm not done. <laughs> Jesus, fuck! Time to get up. We've got some hiking to do. Oh, five more minutes. Poppy. Mm, I have a lot <laughs> to plan this holiday. And I do not want to miss a thing. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm up. I'm up. We just passed two dead hobbits. We are in a place where the feet of the trampling millions have not trodden its grass to dust, nor the din of the myriad cities chased the silence forever away. So, we walk hand in hand with nature under the great sky, living in sun-kissed tents amid the lowing herds, the great earth rolls around in stillness, unladen with trouble and wrong. And we are free for a time. We're lost as fuck, aren't we? shower. I somehow seem to have an irresistible allure over mud. I swear, sometimes my friends invite me to outdoor activities just so that they can stay clean. <laughs> Hi. Hey. I thought I thought I'd grab a shower, too. You don't have to be jealous. All I was doing was putting in a good word for Phil. Right. <sighs> Poppy, feet off the couch. It's not working. What's not working? My fake relationship. What exactly are you doing, Poppy? Listen, Hugo, I ask the questions around here, okay? How do I patch things up? Have you considered letting them know who you really are? Okay, if you're not gonna say anything constructive, then why am I even here? Have you considered telling them about your past, about your family, about your struggles, your secrets, have you... How do you like to handle money? Temporarily, usually. Ha ha. What about your expectations? I don't have any expectations. What about the possibility of having children? What? Are you out of your damn mind? I mean, honestly, I'm starting to wonder what the hell I'm even doing here.
I want to know why you were flirting with that girl. What girl? The girl from the showers at the campsite. Like, why do I even have to say this? Are there a bunch more that I don't know about? No. Okay, and why don't you want us to move in together? Are we really going to do this right now? Yes. We are going to do this right here, right now. It's going to throw off our whole schedule. I'm going to have to redo the whole Nothing. thing. I really don't care about your stupid writing schedule. Right, this will probably mess with that too. Great, Tuppy. Will you just listen to me? No, no, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. I just want to know what's going on. Come with me. You know, tell you about my past. Maybe even some of my secrets. You wanted to see me? Yes, honey. Come on in. Absolutely impressed. You are? Yes, I am. God, you did great work over the summer. A little bit savage, but oh, delicious. I'm glad you like it. Russell's very happy too. Cool. Mm -hmm. You'd be amazed at what sells. I also have a couple of top line magazines looking for contributors. So, it needs an ending, huh? Yes, it does. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what that's gonna be then. You know, I still don't get it. Get what? The concept. I mean, if you're maintaining a relationship with someone, what's the difference between that and faking it? I don't know. Hello? So, how did your day go? It's good. Yeah. Productive? Yes. Actually, I uh, think the deal's set. That's great! God, you're so wonderful. Mm. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, I should get published more often. This reception is delightful, Elaine. Thank you so much. I think everyone's enjoying themselves. I think the mayor certainly is. <laughs> Please enter. It's time for delusion.
so. Now we find out what it's all about, do we? Anytime now. Oh, really, people? Is that how it's gonna be? Nothing's happening. Yeah, I know. Couldn't help but notice that a big old bag of nothing is happening. Shut up and follow me. What's that? Night vision. It's the faces of the people as they come to a realization. <clears throat> Where's the show, Ramon? That's the realization. There is no show. That's why it's called delusion. What? Oh. my spleen. Good! <sighs> Just can't believe he would do this to me. I can't believe what you did to him. Especially with that wine bottle. Oh, please be serious. I am. I mean, it is gonna take a whole lot of time and a whole lot of patience and a whole lot of loot to get it back out. <laughs> You're a very special person, Elaine. You are kind and you're passionate and you're intelligent and we have exquisite taste in food and wine. You think so? Yes, I do. And you mean a great deal to me. You mean a great deal to you. <laughs> Well, thanks, I guess. No problem. You know what? This is good, but... Come on, aren't you almost done? I mean, this is... Sounds like a bit of a tangent. I'm not... I'm not sure if I'm done yet. But Poppy, this is no time to get the jitters, okay? Let's just slam this home and let's really start selling. Sure. Poppy, I am gonna make you famous. You are gonna be on every TV, radio show, every website you can think of. Everyone is gonna know your name. We are gonna go crazy. Everyone's gonna hang on your every word and it's gonna be everywhere. Oh, good. I can enjoy feeling melancholy. There's a good deal of satisfaction in being thoroughly miserable, but nobody likes feeling wound up. You're just as likely to feel it on the day after you've come into money as you are on the day after you've just left your new phone on the bus. You become stupid and restless, irritable, rude to strangers, Dangerous toward your friends. Clumsy and quarrelsome. Nuisance to yourself and everybody about you. 
which can be satisfying in itself sometimes. Besides, who would care two hoots? Whatever precise amount of care a hoot may represent, whether you are blown up, hung up, or drowned, or married. You've never been thoroughly appreciated. You've never been met with your just rewards in any one part of your life. And this works you into a state of savage fury against everyone and everything, especially yourself, whom anatomical reasons alone prevent you from kicking. At least you can bully your partner, grumble at dinner, insist on watching something they don't like, and after you've created a good deal of disturbance around the house, at least you can enjoy the feeling of having created some trouble for somebody else. To the victims of this, I would say, it is worth it to know that just because someone pushes you, doesn't mean they don't enjoy having something to push against. Look at her. An example of smug satisfaction I've never seen outside of a religious meeting. Vanity. Everybody's vain. Goodness in a pet's eyes is stroking them and feeding them with food. I'm afraid this narrow-minded view of virtue is not confined to pets. A good man is a man who's good to us. A bad man is, well, a man who doesn't do what we want him to do. See, the truth is, is that we have, each of us, this inborn conviction that the whole world, with everybody and everything in it, is created as, as some sort of appendage to ourselves. And you and I, we're both the center of the universe in our respective opinions. Of course, it is in our follies that we are truly united. Some of us are pious, some of us are generous, some few of us are honest, I mean, comparatively speaking, and some, even fewer still, may possibly be truthful. Ribbons to decorate the table. Are they in your box? Oh, uh, no. Sorry, they're not. I... Oh, okay. Um, I'll just quickly go get them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you do that. I'm just gonna say hi to the neighbors and stuff.
Hi, who's this? It's me, Patsy. Oh, hey, Patsy. Do you need Poppy? Yeah, there are some errors in our last submission that need to be sorted out. Oh, did you email her? Well, I can, but we need these for Monday morning, and she's not really the easiest to reach out, if you know what I mean. Can you get her for me? Actually, she's uh, not near the phone at the moment. Why don't you just send it to me? You have seen all this stuff, right? Of course. Okay, I'll send it over to you. What's your email? Do we have any bug spray? We? Who's we? What? What is that? Patsy just sent me her latest work. Why would she do that? Because you never answer your fucking emails! It's just fantasy, okay? Look, it's just, it's just made up. Made up, made up! It's me, every little bit of it is me. Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How dare you? How dare you degrade me like that? How dare you waste my life? No, we're not fake. This is not fake. We're not fake. Not fake. Fuck you. But, no, well, at least now I know that you acted like the disloyal, scheming, cliché-ridden, side-sliming, talentless, worthless, thoughtless, tasteless, flat-chested, cross-eyed, split-ended, saggy ass bucket of slut nugs that you truly are! What are slut nuggets? You acted... You acted like a man. I love you. Yeah. Mike is gonna take me to the hospital. Ooh. Would you please take Toby? Um, no, I just- Poppy, I... please! Uh, yes. Yes, Thank yeah, you. yeah. Okay. Come here. Come here, no. It's okay. Yeah. Um.
Hi, Pops. It's Angela. Oh, hi. So, Elaine is threatening to sue us if we publish anything. Have you spoken to her about this? No, no, I've, I've called and I've called. She won't talk to me. Okay, so that basically means I can't sell this. And we don't have any time or money to have a lawyer go through it. It'll be too expensive, Pops. So this call is basically to say goodbye. Sorry, kid, but a lot of time has been wasted on this. Bye, Angela. First and last, and sign here. Frank Biggs. I know a um, Lorena Biggs from Harrow Street. Oh yeah. We were, we were married. Oh. Long story, long ago. Tell me. We, uh, a son, and he died. Um, I'm so sorry. We, uh, we didn't make it through it. We couldn't even look at each other. Yeah, I just, uh, broke up with my girlfriend. Really? What's that? I lied. A lot. Well, you know, it really isn't the lies. It's the being shut out that matters. People hate that. Loretta, she shut me out and wouldn't speak to me about it. Tried to fill her life full of community events. Some other bullshit. Poppy? Hey. Is Elaine here? No. No, you're, you're quite safe. What are you up to? I'm looking for inspiration. No, you're not going to find it here. He's right. Maybe you should try Toronto. Shut up, Clyde. That's not what I mean at all. What I mean, for an artist to create, they must look within themselves rather than at everyone else. A true artist look so closely at themselves that they learn something new about everyone else. Bye, guys. Hope the bruises have healed.
point of being an idle person if you just don't want to be idle anymore? She's gone. She doesn't want anything to do with me. She won't even speak to me. I know that you're mad at me. You're probably mad at me. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know that it seemed like it was completely happened on purpose, but it really did not. I had no idea. There was just no explaining it. I'm so sorry, Loretta. I am so sorry that I ruined your event. Did you love her? Yeah. Yeah, I did. But she's gone. Life is hard, but there are some problems in life that are truly insurmountable. But this is not one of them. Okay. Now, listen very carefully. Patsy. Hi, Elaine. Day off? Half day, actually. I have some papers due in the evening. Well, at least something. Elaine? I wanted to say sorry. For what? It's not your fault. It's not your fault I fell in love with the wrong person. Maybe you didn't fall in love with the wrong person. Maybe you fell in love with the right person, but that person's just a little bit wrong for you. You're 12, right? 13.
What would you say if I told you I was going to work much harder from now on? Of superheroes, space battles, and high production values? I might give us a try. Be a nice change. But I am in danger of skipping ahead. You want to know about her? You want to know how it all got so complicated? Well, what would you have said? Thank you.